Welcome to Lassen National Forest. We're at the parking lot for Subway Cave, which is a lava tube cave in this national forest. And the trail goes up and through it for you to actually get to hike through a lava tube. It's about a third of a mile and the other end, you can either come back through the cave to where you started the parking area or you can make a loop out of it. So let's go check it out. Subway Cave is off of California Highway 89, just north of the junction with California 44 and the little town of Old Station. And this entrance to Subway Cave is thanks to the fact that this part of the crust collapsed, giving us entrance to the lava tube. Monk. Okay, a little bit of snow here at the entrance. Ice build up. Now I can see from here why this is called Subway Cave. Look at how smooth the walls are and how high it is, the ceiling. So this is Subway Cave. So what can happen with the lava flow, if you look here, the lava can flow like a river but then the top of that flow that's exposed to air can cool sooner than the flow below it. And so it forms a roof, it hardens, it forms a roof. Well, lava's a good insulator. So the lava that's still molten below the roof can continue flowing and eventually it can drain out and then you have a tube left behind. So that's how lava tubes form. That happens in Hawaii too. And so here we have it in California. And Idaho has them, and other places with volcanic activity have lava tubes. So then when the part of the roof weakens and collapses, you have a way to get into this tube, and now it's a lava tube cave. And it happens in the subway cave that we're in now. There's a collapse here so we can get in, and then about a third of a mile ahead of us through the cave is another collapse where you can exit. Before heading into a cave, it's a good idea to get your flashlight something really bright, LEDs are good. But you can also have a headlight so you can keep your hands free while you're exploring. So you've got your choice. Bigger flashlight would work better too, but easier, we'll do the job. But this is better. And make sure to bring more than one in case one fails. That's why you've got this and this both. Okay, heading into the cave. You can see the floor's a little bumpy, but pretty, still pretty smooth. Just have to watch that you don't trip over these little knobs. And you can hear, of course, water dripping in from, below, from above. Entering Subway Cave. You can see how it got the name. Looks like a big subway tunnel. Ceiling gets a little low here. The floor is bumpy. You don't want your step. And there's spots where water drips down. Okay, so 
There's a map over here again, and then that's the tunnel continuing on. There's a side channel to a room that dead ends, and then uh, continues on. You come back to the main channel, you can continue on your way to the rest of the, to the other exit. It just goes up here. No ceiling here. This is like a side channel on the original lava flow. I'm gonna drain that, but it left a big wall of solidified lava. Let's see the rest of this lava tube. And of course, here's the obligatory map the cave. Make sure the visitors don't get lost. So, so we went, <laughs> so we went from the cul-de-sac to the sanctum. So this is just another section of where the all the way over there. Of where the uh, lava channel formed a little bulge away from the main flow, I guess you could say. Again, we're going through a narrow tunnel. The ceiling's getting a little low. In this low ceiling, you can see protruding bits of lava called lava sickles. Yet another map. We're working our way to the other roof collapse area that supplies us with our, with our exit. You see here, the ceiling is higher and the walls are even farther apart. That looks like we have a little bit of rock from a roof collapse, possibly, or maybe part of the ceiling collapse at one time. Our exit and another map. But this is a part where the ceiling at one time collapsed, but not all the way through. But there's the debris from that. The boulders. And there's our exit. Okay, you can kind of see the a little bit of ridging from the lava that was forming the floor. And this is the exit. Another reef collapse. And there's another side room off in that direction. And there's probably another Part of the tube goes that way. Okay, 
And this is the exit. You can head that way to head back to the car or the parking lot. Or go back in and double back through the cave. So I guess we're doubling back through. While in the cave, we set our cameras up on tripods and used flash and flashlights to get these images. So we're exiting Subway Cave. We uh, entered this way, went to the other end, but decided to come back through it again. So we're exiting by the entrance. <laughs> so. You so, can do that. So thanks for joining us on this little trip. I hope you enjoyed it. And check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, The Robinson Twins, Richard and Robert. And make sure you like and subscribe this one. Like. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, what he said. <laughs>